Brown went off to war to fight on a foreign shore. His mother show sure is proud of him. Hello, he stood so straight and tall in his uniform and all. His mother's face broke out all in a grin. Oh, son, you look so fine. I'm glad you're a son of mine. You make me proud to know you hold a gun. Do what the captain says, lots of medals you will get. And we'll put them on the wall when you come home. When that old train pulled out, John's ma began to shout. Telling everyone in the neighborhood, that's my son that's about to go. He's a soldier now, you know. She made well sure her neighbors understood. She got a letter once in a while, and her face broke into a smile as she showed him from to the people from next door. And she bragged about her son with his uniform and gun in this thing she called a good old-fashioned war. Lord, Lord, good old-fashioned war. And the letters ceased to come for a long time. They did not come. They ceased to come for about nine months or more. Then a letter finally came saying, "Go down and meet the train. Your sons are coming home from the war." She smiled and went right down. She looked up and all around, but she did not see her soldier son in sight. But as all the people passed, she saw her son at last. When she did, she could hardly believe her eyes. His face was all shot up, and his hands were both blown off. And he wore a metal brace around his waist. He whispered kind of slow in a voice she did not know, while she could not even recognize his face. Oh, tell me, my darling son, pray tell me what they've done. How is it that you've come to be this way? He tried his best to talk, as his mouth could hardly move, and his mother had to turn her head away. Don't you remember, Ma, when I went off to war? You thought it was the best thing I could do. I was on the battleground. You were home, acting proud. Be thank God you wasn't standing in my shoes. Lord, I thought when I was there, God, what am I doing here? I'm trying to kill somebody or die trying. But the thing that scared me most is when my enemy came close, and I saw that his face looked just like mine. Lord, Lord, just like mine. And through, through, and I could not help but think through the thunder rolling stink that I was just a puppet in a play. And through the roar and smoke, the string it finally broke, and a cannonball it blew my eyes away. As he turned away to walk, his ma was still in shock, seeing the metal brace that helped him stand. But as he turned to go, he called his mother close, and he dropped his medals down into her hand. Lord, Lord, down to her hand.